to push. So Carazzo, who missed a little bit of footy, just his second game for the year. Averaged 27 disposals in his last 17 games here at the MCG, and he threads it through. Carlton have their first. Nice little victory that uh, when the man who's given the tagging job in the forward line, Carazzo, is able to kick a goal. And Carazzo won a Carlton best and fairest, more yeah. as a half-back flanker. Now there's White Cross, he wants to get to Carazzo. Carazzo's trying to go to Hodge. And there's this situation developing here. Carazzo, you can see there, wanting to go to Hodge. And White Cross stepping in the way. And Temper's getting a little fray there because Carazzo's instructions are, you play on Hodge, White Cross, you take Carazzo. Getting a bit unsociable. <laughs> so, Wolsey, there's got to be a free Carlton man there. What does he do? Well, it's Cameron Clock, wow. Andy, and he's yeah. sitting back at the top of the goal square. Clear into Taylor. Rioli, Sewell. Good takeaway by the Hawks. Long ball in the rough head direction. Arnfield was brave. Chance for Hawthorne. High ball from Moss. And it was Moss who kicked four goals last week for the Hawks. Some interesting positioning in this game. Sam Mitchell, the uh, centreman, he's started the game as a half-back flanker. Roughhead doing the ruck work close to goal. Murphy, wait, has options, exercises them. Thornton, Judd, Carlton moving it quickly and fluently enough. Scotland to Betts, covers a lot more ground these days. He's up well beyond the wing, almost at half-back. Yeah, he's got Carazzo short. Now that's Hodges' man, because Whitecross has taken up the challenge to go into Betts. So Carazzo, Armfield now, loops the handball, wasn't a great one, eventually gets to Gibbs, Judd in support. His handball got to Joseph, who can kick inside attacking 50 here. Wasn't a great kick, Stevens, cleverly handled, off to Favola, deep in the pocket, pulls it back across his body, it bounces, through for a goal! Brendan Favola! in the right forward pocket has been off target for most of the year he'll be pleased with that that is just amazing good play by Stevens one to trap the footy and selfishly gives the ball to Fev and Fev says I can do anything have a look at this bounces it through and that will do wonders for his confidence and have a look at that great angle great angle wonderful goal and Fev's a happy man Fev and Buddy dead level for the season on 16 goals, 13 apiece. Missing almost as often as they hit. Cruiser has a breather. It's interesting. Carazzo will follow Hodge wherever he goes. Now Hodge is saying, well, I'm going after Cameron Cloak. Carazzo says, I don't care. I've been assigned to cover you, and that's what I'll do. Oh, Halpin goes straight into the ruck. Ren off in there for Hawthorne. The, the number two is now doing the duty. Hawthorne's footy, that's a good takeaway. Dowler, the water's parted for him there and he was able to duck through, but the kick was poor. Wait, took the risk, sprawling for the ball, needed to mark it, and he came up with it. He has a man loose on the wing, it's Murphy, who's having a lot of it early. Floating it for Gibbs or Joseph, neither was sure which one was going. Joseph taking it out to the boundary. Between wing and half forward for the Blues, who have strung a couple of goals together to lead Hawthorne in their first half of the opening quarter of a big game at the MCG. The other interesting matchup, Rob, is Murphy on bets. He yeah, is a lot bigger than him, isn't he? Judd wrapped up and we'll get another bounce. I think what uh, Brett Ratton would be happy with, Cloaks in the goal square, and at the moment Campbell, the Ruckman, is on him. There's Murphy on bets, so Renouf doing the ruck work for the Hawks, but the other ruckman is now at full back on Cameron Cloak. That's a victory to the Blues, because it means Carazzo's sitting on Hodge. Well, the Hawthorne have given up and allowed Carazzo now to man Hodge up, so Bateman wins this out, only as far as Stevens normally uses it very well. Kick inside the corridor. Oh, gee, Russell slipped over, allows Mitchell in. They can build here, the Hawks. Mitchell 
Left foot towards half forward. Williams leads in the race for the footy, pursued by Jamison. A little bit too much toe though. Wasn't a great kick. Morton couldn't control it. Jamison can. Can he get the handball out, Jamison? No. Good tackle coming from Morton. Oh, geez, in trouble here. Oh. He's very fortunate. Umpire gave him the benefit of the doubt. Like <laughs> Alistair Clarkson might have been thinking the same thing. Bounce on attacking 50 for the Hawks. So he took possession while he was on the ground. It's a dangerous thing to do. Lewis, third man up there, getting the tap for Hawthorne. Gibbs trying to work his way through the traffic. Sewell, oh, he's an expert in these situations. The raging bull. Now, Brown boxed out by uh, White. Count with numbers. Bauer and Thornton. Campbell Brown fights on, but eventually the numbers prevail. Thornton delivers to Hulahan. Oh. Good smother by Mitchell. Carlton getting there in number zone. Armfield helps out. White pops it forward, but miscued that and gives it over the head of Carazzo to Hodge. Dangerous kick. Well done, Bates. Affected the spoil. Wrapped up, though, by Hodge. Play on the call. Hulahan gathers the footy. Hawks have got the numbers around the ball. Mitchell. Handball out to Roughhead. Dowler. Chips it wide again dangerously. And Bateman claims the mark. Not paid, said the umpire, but he's got possession. Off to Mitchell. Career high 40 disposals last week, and his delivery is good. And Mitchell played mainly as a defender last week. Chris O doing it again today. Murphy's handball wasn't great, taken by Tux. Grambly old kick towards half forward. Was Morton pushed in the back by Joseph? No, says the umpire. And we get a bounce at centre half forward for Hawthorne. Eddie Betts is very sore, taken to ground in the tackle by Luke Hodge. He should have tapped the ball into space and uh, not got crunched. He'll learn the hard way, young Eddie. Uh, Halpin getting a hand onto it. Houlihan uh, needed to be surer than that. Mitchell to Osborne, one way or the other, and uh, he had men covering him both sides. Dowler to Sewell, doing well. Quick and flat for oh. kick and the full forward. There's a push. Against Carlton Roughhead. Kick. On, the ball. on the ball now. Yeah, a pretty obvious one there against Jared Roughhead. Gee, it's at the other end of the ground, Campbell, the Ruckman, is now playing on for Vola. I don't like that. Judd has a target. It's Armfield. Lose control of Fitty, footy. Just uh, looking a shade the better than the Hawks in the early part. Simpson over the top to Bentley, the former Port Adelaide player, playing his first game for the Blues. Carazzo beautifully waited to Scotland on the left and kicks the goal. The Blues have their third and lead by 12 points. Well, there's the push in the back. And it's the Carlton free kick. Thornton says it's mine. And the Blues take at the end of the ground with very good foot passing. Go to Scotland. Carlton had their third. This is the push out by Roughhead. Richard thought in the free kick, thought and knew it, and a great transference of play. Carlton, very impressive early. We just saw a shot there of uh, Robbie Campbell on Favola. That's not a good matchup for the Hawks. Still gets it to Morton, threads it, and a little fumble from Tuck. Oh, gee. Watch your body, mate. He's down getting the ball. It's right there, mate. And that's, uh, that's the problem. When you, a player fumbles, the incoming player right makes there, it pretty boys. tough for him. Kick out wide to Guerra. No, it's got to come back. So Morton with it now. To not a great kick. Gets to its intended target in Williams. Corralled by weight. But Williams kicks it short. Out comes Ruffhead chipping into the space. Great courage shown by Simpson. Now it's with O'Halpin. Jarred. Oh, somehow he got the handball off to Scotland. Who keeps the arms clear. And normally uses it very well. And beautiful kick to Carazzo. 15 metres in front of Hodge, Andrew Carazzo. Could have gone short over the top to Murphy. Elected to go longer towards Russell. And it's all Hawthorne. White cross. Oh, got to Guerra. OK. And they switch the play. Williams has got it now at half back. And the Hawks can rebound. Roughheads cut a long way from home. Up on the southern wing. Beautiful day in uh, mid-autumn here in Melbourne. 
Sun shining roughhead having to shield his eyes from it. Here's Big Taylor for the Hawks. And Williams now, clear. Swinging it forward but aimlessly, straight to Wake. Hawthorne breaking down up front. 